Now, up to now, all our features have been extremely numeric, and this is not the case in a real world scenario. So let's create a new feature called size and randomly assign observations to be small or large. So we take a random seed, generate random values, and then come up with a new column called size that has binary values, which means either size is going to be large or size is going to be small. Now notice that TV, radio, and newspaper, they are numeric. They can assume any float value. But size is a discrete categorical variable, which can only assume two values, large or small. So in this case, it's a binary value. Now for scikit-learn, we will represent all the data numerically still. Any learning algorithm that you're going to tackle in your career will want numbers as input. It does not support categorical variables. So we need a method wherein we can convert these categorical variables to numeric variables. And one such technique to do that is to create a dummy variable that represents categories as a binary value. So if I come up with a new variable called size underscore large and then map out zero for small and large as one, then we see that we've actually got a new variable which is numerically representing all the information that the size variable originally had to offer. So let's redo our multiple linear regression and include the size underscore large features. Notice here that this is a randomly generated variable and it does not matter to us whether we get high accuracies with this or not. But the point is, if you have a categorical variable in your data set, how do you convert that numerically and then fit in your model? So in this case, we are going to use TV, radio, newspaper and size underscore large. And then we go through our usual workflow and we get our coefficients. Now, how do we interpret the size underscore large coefficient? For a given amount of TV, radio, newspaper ad spending, being a large market is associated with an average increase in sales of 57.42 widgets as compared to a small market, which is called the baseline level. Now, what is we had reversed the 01 coding and created the features size underscore small instead, the coefficient would be the same, except it would be negative instead of positive. As such, your choice of category for the baseline does not matter. All that changes is your interpretation of the coefficient. So what about handling categorical features with more than two categories? Size was easy. Size had only two values. What about multiple values. So again, we generate a random column and let's call that area. And in this case, we have three values, rural, urban, and suburban. We have to represent area numerically, but we can't simply code it as zero equal to rural, one equal to suburban, and two equal to urban, because they would imply an ordered relationship between suburban and urban. And in no way, is that a valid statement? So you can't interpret this as urban is somehow twice the suburban category. <laughs> it doesn't hold any meaning. So if you do have ordered categories, let's say strongly agree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree, you can use a single dummy variable and represent the categories numerically, such as one, two, three, four, five, since they are ordered. Anyway, our area features is unordered. And so is, for that matter, any location features that you'll be working with. So we have to create additional dummy variables. So let's explore how to do this using pandas. So all we have to do is call the pd.get underscore dummies function, pass in the variable that we want to dummify, and then put a prefix there. And let's look at how the data is modified. So we basically have come up with four variables instead of one. And each of these columns is a category present inside our area column. And each of these columns either have a value of one 
or zero depending upon whether that category is present in that data or not. Notice that in this case, although we have three columns, we only need two dummy variables, not three. Why is that? Take a minute to think about it. Two dummy variables can actually capture all of the information about the area feature and implicitly define rural as the baseline level. So let's see what that looks like. We again dummify the area variable and look at the head, this time eliminating the need for a third variable. So in this case, what we see is if both the area suburban and the area urban is zero, then we automatically interpret that as rural. If one of them is one, as in the case of the second or the fifth observation, then that corresponds to that area being either urban or suburban respectively. So way to interpret this will be rural is coded as area underscore suburban equal to zero and area underscore urban equal to zero. So whenever these two values are together zero, we will interpret that as rural. Suburban is coded as when the area suburban is one and area urban is a zero and urban is coded as area underscore suburban equals zero and area underscore urban equals one. If this confuses you, think about why we only needed one dummy variable for size not two dummy variables. So size again was a binary variable and dummification of the size column would have given us two variables, right? But we only decided to go ahead with one variable because all of the information that was present can be coded inside one, right? So it will have two values. Zero means the size is not large and one means the size is large. So in general, if you have a categorical feature with K levels, you create K minus one dummy variables. That is the thumb rule. Anyway, let's add these two new dummy variables onto the original data frame and then include them in the linear regression model. So we concatenate our dummified data set and then we augment the x columns to take into account the area suburban and the area urban. And there we have it. So way to interpret these coefficients will be holding all other variables fixed, being a suburban area is associated with an average decrease in sales of 106.56 widgets as compared to the baseline level, which is rural. Being an urban area is associated with an average increase in sales of 268.13 widgets as compared to rural. So that is a kind of exhaustive understanding on how to apply linear regression in the real world.